Good official morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below before you go. We are running so late for my induction, guys. Today's induction day. It's supposed to be exciting. Great. I'm excited. Great. I literally have eight minutes before my induction. I still have to register when I'm at the hospital, so. I'm not happy about it. We just had so much to do in the morning, so. And I'm not the kind of person that doesn't plan. Like, I, I don't like being late. We and I know. a checklist of everything we needed and, and things to do, too. Yeah. Like, I'm not the kind of person that doesn't plan. I had everything packed the night before. So, it's like, I, I mean, I've had everything packed for a while. But I really, like, made sure we had everything the night before. So, I don't know how this happened. They told us to be there at 8.30. It is 8.53. Um, my actual induction is supposed to be scheduled for 9, but I have to register. So I am literally praying to the induction gods that registration is empty. <laughs> that I can just get the in, like, the, the induction gods that it's empty. We're, like, literally about to pull into the hospital now. But, guys, what if, what if I don't hit the, like, the time frame that I need to be there by? And they're just like, yeah, actually, we're going to move your induction. They cut them off. I'm going to cry. <laughs> okay. Next time we see you, you'll know if we actually got in and made it or not. Hopefully, hopefully, there's I will no be way admitted. They, there's no shot they're just going to turn us away. They might tell us to come back later. Come back in about like three hours. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I have anxiety, okay? We will see. Hopefully, hopefully I'm already admitted the next time we see you. Okay, so we're admitted and I have an IV in this arm, so it's like really hard to like lift hold my camera. hand to, yeah to hold the camera because of where they had to put the IV because I have crappy veins however she started the oxytocin at 12 12 and yeah, what time is it now that. it's 12 30 and she said she can already see um contractions on the monitor and I was like no I know I'm having cramps but like whatever else but they brought me food and I wasn't allowed to eat with Nuggie and I forgot to eat breakfast this morning so I don't know why that's beeping at me, but nope. <laughs> regardless, we had some food. Um, it was okay. It's hospital food, but you know, we're living our life. Honey cheese is not too bad, actually. It was not good. No? No, I was just really hungry because <laughs> I didn't eat breakfast this morning. Soup. How do you feel? Uh, now that it's getting closer and closer, it's becoming more and more real. It <laughs> feel real. When we were waiting in triage, she literally sat there and he looked at me and he goes, it doesn't really feel real yet. Like, I don't think it's going to feel real until... He's here. here. <laughs> Until he's here, yeah. When you like hear the first cry. That's what yeah. I think. I think it really set in for me when we went from the triage room because I've spent so much time in the triage room. Oh, going, going back and forth. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, this is like another Thursday. <laughs> but but um, now being in like the actual like, delivery room and like seeing like the, the little baby like holder for when he's here and like Dante's like chair that pulls out into a bed or whatever that you didn't use last time. I know, but at least you have a chair this time. Well, the last time I didn't use a chair for like hours. It was like eight hours without a chair. <laughs> I literally stole the so chair. Long. Yeah, it was, it was really bad. But I don't know, this experience, is, this experience has actually been really good. So far, Because yeah. with Jackson, so with Jackson when we came in, it was like, um, I went right for my OB appointment. So they were just like, hey, you're going right to the hospital. So they didn't know I was coming for an induction. I just kind of had to go. And then they couldn't start it right away because it wasn't planned. So at least this time, it was planned. I walk in, they're like, oh, is that Ashley? And I was like... VIP. <laughs> you know my name. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, it was a little weird for me to be like, oh, Ashley's here? And I was like, okay, can't say I've ever had that happen at triage before. They're probably like... <laughs> They're probably just excited that it means I'm gonna stop going to triage <laughs> every like three weeks. For a while there, it was like every other day. Yeah, I was going for a hot minute. Like I. But to be fair, you were having a lot of pain. It's so. prodromal labor or something like that. So basically, they're real contractions that can feel as consistent as real contractions. And because of my history, I didn't want to take the risk of it not being. Yeah. And I I dilate really quick. So, like she said, I've only been on this for like 30 minutes. And I'm already 
showing contractions on the monitor. Which is good. Yeah, which is really good. I'm hoping that he's born quick. <laughs> I'm also, when I got here, they checked my cervix. And I'm two centimeters. Um, because of the oxytocin, though, I'm not allowed to get up and walk around. So. You're stuck in the chair. I'm literally stuck right here, yeah. Strap down. She said that I can go to the bathroom, but she, I, I'm not allowed to go to the bathroom 30 minutes after she raises it because if they were to set it to like a certain number, it could like stress the baby out so they start lower and then they raise it. I'm not allowed to go 30 minutes after they raise it. Like I have to be connected to the monitors for those 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So. Like every time she raises it? Yeah, like every time she raises it, there's like another 30 minutes. But then after that, you can go pee. Can but I need her to let me. Because you'd have to like unhook it's the like monitors. Your again. Can I, can I <laughs> yeah, I literally. Although I guess it's one on one, so it's just me and her. Like she doesn't have like another patient. That's good then. She is in a meeting right now. I told you they're having like a ceremony. I know. When she came in, she's like, we're having a little meeting. <laughs> so it's like. That's cool that you do that though. It's like all teamwork based and everything here. Right? Yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, I push the button and she comes anyways. Yeah. Well, or someone she, would come, but. I'm sure she would. That's the update right now. How do you feel? Hungry? Yeah, we we missed, we were way too late. I know we we were well. You guys saw the beginning of this vlog. We were late, so it's okay. They still took anymore. us. What? I don't remember you vlogging. I've anymore. been up since four thirty. I literally he would time? not let me sleep at all last night. Like I literally could not sleep. Even Lily was like, "You're gonna be exhausted," and I was like, "Bro, I tried." I literally laid in bed from four thirty to five thirty with my eyes closed, just trying to sleep. And I just couldn't, so I was like, okay, I'm getting up, I guess. But. We're doing okay. Doing okay. I'm glad you're doing okay. Well, we got a, so pri we got a private room. Oh, yeah. Too. Dante wanted a private room. We had a semi private with Jackson because he was born in 2020. So during COVID. And they didn't have like, the ward open because that many people with COVID and all that kind of stuff. So that got really cold. My, sorry, my IV got cold um, because of COVID and stuff. So now they have the ward back, and Dante's. What your insurance is what semi private? Yeah, they cover from ward to semi private. So he's just gonna we're just gonna pay the extra for a private. Which isn't honestly that much more. It's the main it's a yeah. really the big jump from he, ward to semi private. He didn't cool. like the semi private. He was I, like it's better obviously than the ward, but I would I rather just, pay for the I just feel bad at, like if someone wakes private. up if we wake if like if our baby wakes up because of them and then or sorry, if we if our yeah, baby wakes them up issue. and then wakes up their baby up or vice versa then We had that issue. Jackson would cry and then their baby would cry and then we would get Jackson down and then their baby would cry again and then Jackson would wake up and it was just like we kept trading. Which like I said isn't the worst thing in the world, but also Do you remember that couple? They had like a twelve pound baby or something? Yeah, they had a thirteen pound baby. They gave us like their newborn clothes. <laughs> yeah, it went right to one, right? It's crazy. Yeah, they had to go to the store and buy diapers and clothes. It's insane. <laughs> Regardless, that's where we're sitting. I'm gonna relax a little bit because my I'm starting to get like cramps. So I'm gonna eat something. That's been fun. <laughs> so it's been what, like an hour and a half mm -hmm. since I started it, and the contractions are great. They're great. They're strong. They're like they're a lot. I'm waiting for my epidural. <laughs> There are a lot. They, they show the monitor. Look at them. Well, I'll show it this one. I'm not having one right now, though. Just, uh... Oh, the monitor? Yeah. Look at these waves. Look at that one. Boom. Oh my god, they're so bad. Look at the ones that were like back to back. <laughs> I can't. Oh, they're over here. Yeah. Crazy stuff. They haven't checked me or anything again, but I'm waiting for the person to come give me my epidural, and then they're gonna raise my oxytocin again. So, just, I just want the epidural. All right, what time is it? It's like three. It's quarter three. Quarter to three, and I just got the epidural, and we're feeling good. My legs feel very warm that's my favorite part like if they just feel warm um the nurse the nurse the ob came in and she checked my cervix and broke my water so my water is officially broken but i am now four centimeters i was three then she broke my water and then she checked me again and she's like okay she's about a four um i'm still getting the oxytocin um and i'm still having contractions but now i can no longer feel them so we're doing good. Feeling nervous? Yes. 
Yeah? What's making you feel nervous? The fact that we have another baby here. <laughs> you know what's crazy? What? He's gonna be so tiny. And Nuggie's gonna look so big. Nuggie is a big boy. I know, but like you look of... at, you look at him and you're just like, okay, like you're a baby. Like, you're still a baby. It's just my blood pressure. I thought I stepped on it. No, no, no. Um, you look at him and you're like, oh, you're just a baby. But now he's gonna look like a little adult. It's fine. Aye, aye, aye. I'm chilling. I um. So it looks so big. It's funny because like the last couple of weeks, I've been getting like random memories on my phone of like young Nug. <laughs> They're so cute. And uh, like, I'll put when, a couple in here. When he was like two or three weeks old. Yeah. And uh, I was showing her, and she's like, "Stop." Can we do it again? No. You don't try to. <laughs> choice anymore. I'm so nervous. <laughs> he was, I, I don't feel know like, why I'm so nervous. Wait. I feel like being nervous is normal though because it's very different and like we've talked about like you're not very good with change. I'm not good with change. I hate but change. I feel like it's still normal even like with the with, like him not being good for change because it's still like that's a pretty big change. Like it's, you know what I mean? So I feel like even if you did handle change whatever like fine or whatever then you'd still be nervous but I think you dinged something. I know. Regardless, I that's where we're at. Okay, it's literally like 4.30, and what was the last time she came back, like four? Something like that. 4.30, and she says she thinks I'm like a 9, 10. She's gonna get the doctor to like double check, but she doesn't feel, she's like, I don't wanna get your hopes up. Oh, I feel pressure. I still don't, I... No, I think she's right. There's a lot of pressure. It's good. So good. Oh. The shakes are starting to come now. No, I think she's right. Okay. Because I literally feel so much pressure. Okay. Do you want to, do you want to press the button and call her? No, because she's just getting a little bee. Okay. And she also is like agitated by cervix. But regardless, within like 30 minutes or so, we went from like a 6 to like maybe a 9. Okay. Hopefully, because that means I can eat. No. I think I'm shaking more than you are right now. What? I'm shaking more I than you. I can't really move, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Not only can I not feel my legs, <laughs> but like I'm attached to like every oh, yeah. wire. So if I wanted to shake, I don't think I could. It's been a very healthy pregnancy. Perfect. Okay, lift your bum up. That's like literally the best thing I can do. I'm no, so that's, that's sorry. Good. No, that's good. Okay. Now it feels like we're all just waiting because it's in a different position, so it's like... <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one that's nervous right now. <laughs> I, I hope that you're the only one that's nervous right that's now. That's true, that's true. <laughs> to be fair. What are you guys most excited about? Uh, for other son meeting. I was going to say. Yeah. That's cute. How old's the other one? Almost yeah. two. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you feeling um, it now? Yeah. Okay, so take a nice big deep breath in. Put your hands behind your thighs. Bring your chin to your chest you and go. push down for 10. Nine. Okay. Do you know what? You can just stop. Do you want to just <laughs> <laughs> press the bell? We'll just call She's like, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just call Dr. The last time I was here. Oh, like, please. <laughs> the last time I had like my Matthew? son. Oh, oh please, please. My delivery? Okay. Sorry. It's okay. When I had my son, he said I was a baby making machine because he yeah. came so quick. <laughs> so, okay. Is baby safe like right there? Yeah, or, that's, okay. that's right there. That's good. Nice and safe. So I can feel the pressure of it. So like, I'm just going to turn up the volume. Yeah. Thank See, I didn't watch that. That's. <laughs> I don't know how you guys are just so okay with it. <laughs> they, they do this. Hello, friends. I don't, I don't understand. I, you guys are insane. <laughs> It was, it was a three-second push. Right? It was a three-second push. Actually, I like, yeah. I like hearing that. She's like, I am a powerhouse. I don't know how to do this. I knew I, she would deliver before I dish, uh, before the end of the day because yeah. I was like, I think even like, sometimes I like, feel like one thing and I was like, nah, she's going to deliver right now. Like, this is not going to Okay, when you get out of contraction, you know, have a baby, okay? Okay. <laughs> that. Actually, can we break the bed? Because, sure. Sorry, I just, I like, my back, I'm an idiot, and it's, uh, hopefully we got this. Okay, I kind of feel pressure. Oh, well, you know, great. Do what you have to do. There's a stool behind you. Thank you. 
Awesome, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a blanket? I have one right here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I lose my Just. breath whenever I see you. Do you remember Jackson like clawed his eye like the first day, like the first hour? Was that the fastest one you've seen? Um, I mean, I have seen one uh, deliver itself, but oh. <laughs> that was still very, very, very quick. Because that was like, we put you up in stirrups and... <laughs> he was right there. That's what I said happened last time too. I yeah. felt the pressure and she's like, yeah, he's not in your, like, or he's out of your service. Yeah. Just chilling there, ready to come. How long have you been doing this for? About a year and a half. Oh. Really? You seem like you've been doing it for a lot longer. How confident you are. Yeah. I mean, I hope they're confident. <laughs> well, okay. All right. Well, I'm just saying like some veteran. Close to no, yeah. it's good. See, so you feel really close.
I'm worried about clawing his eyes. I'm worried about the new Ring the bell if you guys need anything. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I feel like a loser. Why? Because as soon as he came out, I started crying. I started crying with you. What? I started crying with you. I know, but it's just like, it's just like after everything, it's just really surreal. But like, he's here, he's healthy, he's okay. You know what I mean? Oh, we should have asked her with the message. Also, like, I don't, I don't really remember Nuggie's birth. Because I was so like scared of like everything that like after Levi and everything. Yeah, it just feels different. Like, do you know what I mean? Do you fall asleep? What? Do you fall asleep? <laughs> I don't know, cause he's also really mucusy, and Muggy was never really mucusy. She told me to just keep wiping his mouth. Oh. You got him mad. That's a good sound though, because that means that he can. Mucus is like coming out, you know? So. We have another baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go snuggle a baby, and then we'll tell you how fast it happened, because that was wild. That was wild. Okay, so it's a lot later now. What time is it? Almost eight. It's almost eight. It's It's almost eight, what Dante said. Um, I'm fried. Like, I just, I don't feel good. I've had a handful of, like, what are those called? Like, rice cake? Rice? They're just rice cakes. The rice cakes. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I had a handful of, like, chip-ish foods. Like, not even, like, a real food. A snack. So, my body is just, like, she's not doing it anymore, you know? But... Baby boy is in the NICU because he was breathing really fast. Um, okay, basically what happened is he was born in like a minute, <laughs> um, like literally two pushes and born in like a minute. So what normally happens is when you're pushing and the baby's being born is it's squeezing the, like the water out of their lungs. He didn't get the chance to do that because he was literally born so fast. Sorry, Dante's just like, he's just like chilling here with his water. But um, he was born so fast that he didn't get the chance to do that. So now he has water in his lungs. So he has like a C cap. Uh, I think so. There was CPAP? CPAP. Regardless, basically it's just like this little thing that goes over his nose that pushes water or air. So it pressurizes his, his breathing to allow the water in his lungs to come out. That's the way she explained it. Basically, he doesn't need oxygen. Yeah, his oxygen levels were perfect. His yeah. stats are good. Everything like that's really good. His color looks good. They said that there's nothing else wrong with him other than the fact that he was a little bit cold when he came to the NICU and the breathing thing. And that's literally just because he was born so fast, is what they said. Yeah, so he said otherwise he looks really good. And okay. I mean, it's a little stressful right now, but... Yeah, they said it should resolve within like a few hours to like a day or so. So I'm hopeful for a few hours. Because my anxiety is so high. Yeah, I don't so, like. So I think it's it's been almost, it's almost the two hour mark. So they're going to do oh, x-rays and stuff. I was say, didn't you say they're going to do x-rays they're too? They're going to do yeah. x-rays and they're going to take blood work at the two hour mark. And then they're going to go from there. However, they did say it's most likely going to be all night. Yeah, and that, that's fine that's with fine. him being monitored. Um, I, because I got the epidural, I still can't feel my right hip. I can move my toes and I can move my legs but i cannot stand enough to do like my hip or anything so i've just been getting pushed around in this wheelchair <laughs> to go back and forth um but yeah Dante, <laughs> what are you doing the chair's too far away <laughs> do you want to go sit here with me no he doesn't he doesn't like me no, but I, basically I not, I did not that bad. there is my it's moved over basically everything is fine with him but it's nerve-wracking because like when they tell you like the NICU. Like, I think your mind just goes to, like, worst case scenario. No? Well, it's also, like, his breathing, too, right? And it looks scary. Like, if you so guys... Was... Saw, like, I don't want to pull the camera while we're there because I want to, like, be there with him and stuff. But, um, it's, like, this little room and he's in, like, this little incubator. And then he has, like, this big, like, little mask. Big little. Big mask over his nose. And then he has, like, a feeding tube in because with him having a hard time breathing or whatever... It makes it like a choking hazard for him to yeah, eat. Yeah, so they have two tubes and one goes through his nose so that he can get fed. 
or yeah, so you can get that'd fed. be the feeding tube. And then the one in his mouth is so it suctions out all the extra, yeah, the excess of water. Um, yeah. So. Which is like seeing him hooked up like that. Yeah. Is really, really scary. Yeah, they said that he's gonna be okay, like for sure. Kind of idea, like if this like doesn't work to help with his lungs, they're just gonna turn it up. Um, and so they like they have no worries about him like coming home. Yeah, they say it just might take like, an extra day or so, which is fine. Yeah, it's just scary when you hear like, oh, he's going to the NICU. So, that is where we've been. I might try and nap while I'm lying in the bed. I'm very, very nauseous and very, very dizzy, very, very lightheaded. And I'm just not feeling it. I am a little worried about breastfeeding though because he's well, I didn't, not I didn't, eating. I didn't ask what hand That's okay. We'll do it in a minute. Um,. I am a little nervous about breastfeeding because he's not like eating because of the tube. Um, so I am a little concerned about that because Nuggy ate right away. And even when he was under the light, I still pumped. So like I'm a little nervous, but I think it's gonna work out just fine. I think he's gonna get off the thing just fine. Hopefully they can take my IV out soon because it hurts really bad. But that is the update. How do you feel now that he's here? I'm not nervous anymore. I'm more nervous for him rather than nervous about him. Yeah, I know. I agree. I was a little nervous too. And then I was just like, oh, 